What are GRUs, Gated Recurrent Unit Networks Explained? Welcome to this video on GRUs Gated Recurrent Units, one of the most important architectures in deep learning for handling sequential data. If you've heard of LSTMs, GRUs are their simpler but equally powerful sibling. Let's understand what makes them special. To begin with, Recurrent Neural Networks, or RNNs, are designed to work with sequential data, like time series, text, or speech, by maintaining a form of memory across time steps. But RNNs face a major challenge. They struggle with long-term dependencies due to issues like vanishing gradients. That's where GRUs come in. Introduced in 2014 by Kyung Yun Cho and others, GRUs are a type of RNN architecture that solves this problem using gates, mechanisms that control the flow of information. A GRU has two main gates, the update gate, often denoted as ZT, and the reset gate, denoted as ART. Let's break down what they do. Twa. The update gate decides how much of the past information needs to be carried forward to the future. It's like asking, should I keep remembering this or can I update it with something new? The reset gate controls how much of the past information to forget. It's especially useful when we want to ignore irrelevant past data while making predictions. Compared to LSTMs, GRUs are simpler. They combine the functions of input and forget gates into a single update gate, and they don't use a separate memory cell. This makes GRUs faster to train and sometimes even better on smaller datasets. GRUs are widely used in text generation, speech recognition, time series forecasting, and any task involving sequential patterns. They're especially popular when you want the power of deep sequence modeling without the overhead of complex architectures. To summarize, GRUs are a type of recurrent neural network. They use update and reset gates to control memory. They are simpler and faster than LSTMs, and they perform well in many sequence modeling tasks. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, consider sharing it with others who are learning about neural networks.